The swag has become just like the NFL in this one regard. The Offensive Player of the Year Award has basically become a quarterback award. But that might all change this year. Come on in, let's talk about it. You gotta lay it brick by brick. And you gotta stack them days, man. You gotta want it for yourself. You gotta want it for your brother. And, that, and that's real. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody in here got a chance to go to that next level. It has been a long time since a running back has won the SWAC's Offensive Player of the Year Award. The last time it's been done was by Alabama State's Malcolm Cyrus. And in that season, he had 1,662 yards, 12 touchdowns on the ground, and 380 receiving yards and one touchdown on 28 receptions. That was in 2014. And even then, he shared the award with Alcorn State's QB, John Gibbs Jr., who had 2,482 passing yards, 21 touchdowns, and 1,006 rushing yards on the ground with 11 touchdowns. But like I said in the open, this year may be different. Alcorn State is returning Agent Zero. And this guy is amazing. He is considered the best running back in the SWAT. But how good is he? Before we jump into the numbers, we got to put it in context. Last year, and this is no disrespect, but last year, Alcorn did not have a passing game. In the 2022 season, Alcorn State quarterbacks combined for 1,840 yards, nine touchdowns with 10 interceptions, with the leading quarterback putting up 1,424 yards, eight touchdowns, seven interceptions. That's not going to scare anybody. The Braves would go five and six on the year. But the lone bright spot on offense was Jarvian Howard, a.k.a. Agent Zero, straight out of Columbia, Mississippi. Howard is a transfer that came in from Syracuse. And from the moment he transferred, it was high expectations all across the board. Everyone was excited for it. But the best part is he delivered on those expectations. Listed at 5'10", 200 pounds, Howard instantly became a bell cow back. In 11 games last year, Howard carried the ball a minimum of 20 times in 10 out of 11 games, going over the 100-yard mark six times. His best performance came against Arkansas Pine Bluff, where he would get 299 yards, four touchdowns on 23 carries, as well as two receiving yards. On the year... Versus stacked boxes, eight men, nine men in the box. Howard put up 1,275 rushing yards with 12 touchdowns. Man, you may be saying, man, that's not going to win Offensive Player of the Year next year. What are you talking about? That's where Tyler Macon come into play. If he is as good as advertised, teams will no longer be able to stack the box against Agent Zero. If the ability matches the hype, we may be talking about 1,800 yards, 18 touchdowns. Now, there's a lot of people out there saying Howard's going to go for 2K. If he does that, we may be looking at an offensive MVP. Now, last year, it wasn't even close because Shadour completely destroyed the swag. But no QB that's returning has that sort of resume for playing at that type of level. So my question to you is, what do you think? Do you think Jarvin Howard is going to win Offensive Player of the Year? Or will it be a quarterback once again? Will it be Jeremy Musa of Florida A&M, Trazon Conley of Prairie View A&M? Or is a dark horse quarterback going to come out of nowhere like Jason Brown of Jackson State? You can even throw in Andrew Body if he has a bounce back year for Texas Southern. But me personally, I think the will of Jarvian Howard and the fact that he's known his why since he was in high school. Don't believe me? Just check this out. Jarvion Howard is one of the top football recruits in the state. He could easily be enjoying his last high school summer break. But here the East Marion running back is spreading concrete under the scorching Mississippi sun. I look at my mom every each and every day as a hard worker because, you know, single parent, you know, coming in, you know, trying to provide, you know, with what I need. 
So that's why I'm out here trying to get it. I don't want to actually have to have my mama going out her way to actually trying to make sure what I need for school. Because I can, I feel like I can, I'm 17, I can get up and go to work just how she did when she had me. Word on the street is he's up about 15 pounds of muscle. He's lived in the weight room, stacked it up. He was already looking bigger than that 200 pounds. He looked like he was like 210 solid muscle. I think he has a really good shot to pull it off because it's been about nine years since we've seen another guy even split the award with a quarterback. So I just wanted to go ahead and put that out there, see what y'all think in the comments. What stat line do you think Agent Zero is going to pull off this season? But anyway, that's all I got for y'all today, man. Cut day out.